Welcome back. It is time for the word on Wall Street. Top investors watching your money. Joining me right now is Michael Lee, strategy founder. Michael Lee. Also joining us is Mark Tepper with us all morning. Mike, thanks very much for joining the conversation on this. Such an important day. We want to look at futures this morning, uh, which are, of course, selling off. The bond market is closed this morning for the Columbus Day holiday. But futures are all open and futures are indicating that uh, rates are spiking once again. The Dow Industrial is down 168. The Nasdaq down 121 as oil prices spike as well given the attacks on Israel. That is threatening to inflame tensions in the Middle East, a third of the world's supplier of crude oil. Mike, your reaction to all of these developments? Yeah, uh, adds a tremendous layer of uncertainty over markets which have been on shaky ground basically since the middle of uh, the middle of July, and, and one of the big drivers of that has been the strength of the U.S. dollar. Do we continue to see the strength of the U.S. dollar in the face of this in a flight to quality, a bid for safety, and how does that play out uh, across the interest rate curve and, and uh, across commodities? Um, I'm a little bit shocked that the price of oil is not up more. Uh, given Iran's involvement in, in this, what is that going to look like going forward? Uh, how do the Saudis feel about this? What are they going to do production-wise. Uh, and Jim Iorio mentioned it earlier this morning, um, typically you have the Strategic Petroleum Reserve for these types of scenarios, but we have drained that by over 60% in it, it basically for political means, not for national security concerns the way it's been used in the past. So um, a, a huge layer of uncertainty going into an earnings season where the entire market is based on a reacceleration of earnings growth and a reacceleration of economic Growth, we have, which we have yet to be seen. So, um, you know, we were on shaky ground coming into today, and the events over this weekend in Israel, I think, have added to it further. Oh, for sure. Uh, the uh, Israel Gaza uh, issues here, the war, 1,300 people dead, uh, is causing a lot of uncertainty here. But, Mark, we may very well get some clarity with third quarter.